Well, hey everybody, I'm going to show you guys how to get these mob heads in legit survival. Thanks to the aquatic update, we can do this. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's get this started. Alright, now let's go ahead and show you guys how to get these mob heads in legit survival. Now straight off the bat, my friend right here, Rec, he showed me how to do this today and we want to share this to everybody. Now first, what you're going to need to do is find one of these. This right here is a Drowned, one of the new mobs from the Aquatic Update. Now as you see, it's holding the Trident in his hand. Not all of them have the Tridents, but some of them and when you kill the drowned not all of them will drop the trident so it's a small chance that it will drop the trident but once you get the trident on survival which is right here let's go ahead and grab that so once you get the trident then you need this enchantment on it it's called channeling now channeling acts during the thunderstorms only now what's going to happen is later on we're going to show you guys how to do all this but you got to keep in mind the channeling only works during the thunderstorms. Another enchantment is very useful is called the loyalty enchantment. You don't have to have that one, but like I said, it's very helpful and I'll explain to you later on why. So let's go ahead and enchant these here. Let's go ahead and grab the channeling and the loyalty. Go into the anvil here. Let's put that there. Do the channeling and grab that. Now let's go ahead and put this in here and enchant this one. Now we'll have the channeling and the loyalty on this trident here. So now what we're going to do is switch over on survival and let Rec show you guys how to do this. All right, now what you need to do is go ahead and make an encasing like this, little chambers. Now this is going to be three by three, four blocks deep, and right inside we have our mob. So in this one here, we have a skeleton, a weather skeleton in this one, a zombie, and a regular creeper. Now on survival, you need to push or somehow get your charged creeper inside of here. Now once the creeper blows up, then that's how you get your mob head. Well, Alright, now as you see, it's thunderstorming and that's exactly what you want. It's very important and it's the only way that this is going to actually work if it's thunderstorming. So, my friend Wreck is standing up here and we have right down below a creeper. Now, he's in survival, so he's going to demonstrate on how this works once he hits this creeper with this enchanted trident. So, go ahead, Wreck. Now, as you see there, the lightning hit... The creeper and now it's called a charged creeper well, all right now as you see we have all four charged creepers encased in glass right above the chambers now that's only on demonstration purposes it doesn't really matter how you guys get your charged creeper inside your chamber just as long as you get them in there somehow so what we're gonna do is go ahead and break this block here let that charged creeper go right down in to each one of these chambers well, Alright, now once you have your charged creepers in place like this, then what we're going to do is go ahead and let the creeper blow up. Now whatever mob this charged creeper blows up, that's what mob head you'll end up having. Now remember, it has to be thunderstorms for this to all work. So my friend Rec right here, he's still in survival and he's got a gold apple to reduce the explosion effect. So he's going to eat the apple and go ahead and jump right in and we'll show you what's going to be left down below is the mob head so go ahead wreck so he blew up and look right here look at that we have the zombie head alright he's going to do one more for you guys so right down here we have the skeleton so go ahead wreck show them what's going to happen here Look right here, we have the skeleton skull. Like I said, whatever mob the charged creeper blows up, that's what you'll end up with with that mob head. 
Well, all right, everybody, that's the end of the video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Hit that like if you did, and comment down below what you think of this new feature from the Aquad update. Thank you to Rec for showing me this cool new feature. I hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you all next time.